What's up guys, Franco Mobile Homes here and today we're gonna to talk about a few mobile home residency laws and these are important so that you know a few of your rights as a mobile home resident. This is where we show you the ins and outs and everything there is to know about mobile homes. It is truly our mission to transform lives through mobile homes. So thanks for watching Franco Mobile Homes. Number one is signing a rental agreement. So park management is required to offer you a rental agreement, which states the rent, the fees, the tenant terms, the park rules and regulations. All of this stuff is really important that you see this, you read it, and that they provide it to you. So that way you can fully understand what you're getting into when you're getting into these parks. So these leases are typically valid for about 12 months. And then after that can be negotiated to make sure you're on a month to month basis. But uh, usually it just depends on the area and the jurisdiction that you're in. Number two is your rent and utilities. So with this, rent increases are usually governed by your lease or your rental agreement. So make sure you read that carefully. Nevertheless, over a hundred parks in California have rent control ordinances. And now this is different in each city and each, each county. So make sure you understand which area you're in uh, to understand how rent control works in your areas. And it's very unique each city. So be careful with that. But no matter what, the park needs to give you 90 days with written notice before they can increase your rent, even if it's just an annual increase or whatever. Number three is fees and taxes. The park may charge you a fee for services rendered, but this fee must be reasonable and it must list these services that are actually provided. So when they do upgrades in the park, whether it's the street lights, the uh, repaving the ground, uh, they might be charging you a shared fee with all the other residences. And you must also be given a 60 day written notice of any new fees that are coming up. Number four is rules and regulations. So most parks have rules regarding pets, regarding parking, noise, recreation facilities, common areas, your home lot maintenance, how you take care of your home and especially the exterior of your home. These are really important that you go over these rules. These could potentially be changed by the park, but they have to give you at least a six month written notice for this to be enforceable. Number five is age discrimination. Discrimination based on age is prohibited, especially in California. Now, only in senior parks can they restrict the age where you're either 55 and over, but not for family parks. You can't say no to an old person because you feel like they're old or anything like that. But in senior parks, they can say, hey, you have to Everyone that lives there has to be over 18, over 40, whatever it is, as long as it's over that age restriction that they have for senior parks. So those are a few residency laws that I feel you should know about as a resident. If you like our stuff and want more, uh, please like and subscribe and comment on our stuff to help support us. So thanks for watching. Franco Mobile Homes. Take care. Bye.